Hello. Hello mga co-actors. So as what I mentioned in my previous vlog, ang topic natin ngayon ay DIY VTR. Hello, I am Joel Garcia, 39 years old, 5'6". Hello, I am Joel Garcia, 32 years old, 5'6". Hello, I am Joel Garcia, 35 years old, 5'6". Hello mga co-actors, so as what I mentioned on my previous vlog, ang topic natin ngayon ay DIY VTR. Oo, stress on DIY, do it yourself. Because nga, dahil nga sa pandemic, quarantine, we are now the ones who are doing this uh, VTR on our own homes. no? Kaya I'm trying to do this uh, video to help you out, co-actors ko there, like what I did dun sa previous vlog ko, dun sa set card. And if you haven't watched it, you can actually just visit it on my uh, channel. There you go. You can actually visit it and learn about the tips and uh, do's and don'ts of making a DIY set card. Okay, going back nga dito sa ating DIY VTR. And uh, by the way, if you don't know the meaning of VTR, ang ibig sabihin po nun ay video tape recorder. Uh, bakit video tape recorder? Kasi dati, uh, before digital world, no, uh, ang VTR ay ginagawa or ang vi video tape recording ay ginagawa sa mga casting agencies or talent agencies na pividyohan ka and there will be a tape that will be used para ma-record yung video mo. And then yun yung mga ipapadala sa mga clients or yun yung mga clients or casters para ma ma-book ka or ma-cast ka sa isang commercial or any films. Pero dahil nga meron na tayong digital world, hindi na uso yung mga tape na yan. So, everything is recorded digital. So, hindi natin kailangan magkaroon ng video recording or tape on that sense. Pero enough na sa mga bagay, sa mga history na yan kasi napagkakala tayong age ko sa pagkakwento ko about that. Let's focus now on how to make your own or your do-it-yourself VTR. Pero nga, before nga ng pandemic, no, ang ginagawa natin for VTR or profiling is pupunta tayo sa iba't ibang talent agencies, nakapa-record ng mga sarili natin, and because of this quarantine, we are now required to do it on your own. And I am here for this video. I will teach you how to create your own VTR will at least make it look professional or at least decent para naman hindi nakakahiya kapag nag-submit tayo sa mga clients natin. So first of all, um, kunin ko muna ito, no? um, we need to understand the basic requirement of making a VTR. First, syempre, kailangan natin ng camera. Uh, Right now, I've already set up my camera here. And you can use either an Android or an iPhone. Meron ka. So, yun yung mga requirements na kailangan natin. Second is a good lighting. So, kung nakapansin nyo ngayon, ang pangit ang lighting ko. Kasi, I'm just using the fluorescent light. Kaya, I've invested for a ring light. Which is... Murang-mura lang, and it's really a good investment, and hindi ako, wala akong kita, hindi ako nag, wala akong commission if I'm promoting this, but you can actually get it in Shopee or Lazada for only 300 pesos. And, itong makikita nyo yung shadow na yan, once you use a uh, ring light, or a light sa harapan ninyo, mawala na yan, no? Hindi na makikita yung mga ganyang klaseng pangit na shadow when you're taking your videos. So, you know, first is uh, camera, second is a good lighting, and third is tripod. Siyempre, kailangan meron kang tripod para patungan ng camera mo. Hindi ito tripod. Ito yung kasama sa ring light. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, maganda mag-invest ng ring light because kasama na yung stand wherein you can also put your camera on the center of the ring light. Kasi kung wala kang ring light or wala kang tripod, tingin yung ginawa ko dito kanina. Diba? 
Ang ginawa ko, foam. Pinatungan ko ng camera ko kanina para hindi ko hinahawakan tulad ngayon. Pero kung meron tayong isa pang tripod, maganda sana nakapwesto lang yan dito para kitang-kita nyo at maganda yung view ninyo, hindi yung gumagalaw-galaw tulad itong ginagawa ko ngayon. No? So again, uh, camera, good lighting, tripod, fourth will be a plain background. And kung napapansin ninyo, um, dito na lang ako mag-explain para mas maayos. So, fourth is a plain background. So, kung napapansin ninyo, dito sa aking gilid, hindi siya plain, di ba? Hindi naman talaga plain yung ginagamit nating background sa pagkukuha ng video. Ayan, makita nyo naman ninyo, it's a wall na may cabinet sa gilid. But, what I do is, I just edit this part para mukhang plain yung background ko. Fifth is a plain shirt or plain top. Gaya ng set card, we are required to just wear something plain. Para naman, syempre, again, nuulit ko, pag sa VTR or set card, you need to focus on the idea that kailangan magtumingin ang mga casters or clients sa itsura mo, hindi sa damit mo. Sixth, additional will be another person can help you out. And why is that important? I will tell it to you later. So what comprises a VTR? Um, Siyempre, yung video mo, na sabihin mo sa VTR, uh, name, age, and height. Standard yan. Name, age, and height. And then, you will face to the right. Look at the camera and smile. Face to the left. Look at the camera and smile. And then, face front. And then, dito na papasok yung sinasabi kong you need to have a to help you out. Kasi, kailangan ng whole body. So, siya yung magagalaw ng camera from head to toe then going up and going back to the same framing ng camera mo. Some clients will require to show of hands like this, 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 and this. Some clients will also ask for your previous commercials for the past 2 to 3 years. Some will also ask if meron ka mga products na ginawa na kalaban ng mga brand nila. And then of course, after your profiling of left, right, face, front, and whole body, that's the time that you will make your yes or wow acting. Dito naman sa yes, yes and wow acting, you will just say yes, yes. in different emotions. Yes. Siyempre, ang meron dyan is happy, sad, angry, yeah. scared. Yeah. And then, I add, I personally add, excited, yes. amazed, yes. confused, and confident. So, yun. So, yun sa akin yung mga basic na ginagawa ko for yes and wow emotions. Bonus tips on creating a VTR. These are tips that I personally do. You can actually try it or not. It's up to you. Ito yung mga ginagawa ko para mapadali yung buhay ko. First is I do a standard VTR. What do I mean by standard VTR? Meron na pong VTR na ready na anytime. What? VTR na hindi ko na kailangan, syempre may mga clients na nagmamadali na asap ang pag-submit ng VTR, hindi ko na kailangan gumawa ulit ng bagong VTR kasi meron na akong ready. Ang importance sa ready mong VTR is the same, exactly the same as what your look is. Halimbawa, yung VTR ko dapat mahaba rin ng buhok, medyo kulot din, at may bigot at balbas din. Ngayon, kung napagupit ako, or may clean na yung buhok ko, Yun yung kailangan baguhin ko na yung VTR ko. Depende kung ano yung tsura ko. What? Second bonus tip, which I also do personally, I have multiple variations of my VTR. Only difference are age. What? So why do I do that? Because ideally, ang clients are just looking for screen age. What? Particular sila sa itsura mo, Hindi sila particular sa age mo. What? Maliban na lang kung specific na require ng mga clients or ng casters. Like for example, I personally have 
a VTR with the age of 29, 35, 40, 45. Kasi yun yung mga screen age na feeling kong kaya ko pang maabot. And those ages, medyo hindi na ako particular. And their question now is, what is my age? My real age? I won't tell you, siyempre. Kasi siyempre, kailangan meron akong range na pwede kong iba to anytime the casters or clients are looking for a certain age type with my look. What? Third bonus tip, I also do VTR na medyo character looking. Like for example, I have a VTR na nakakamiso de chino ako. Bakit? Kasi maraming mga character look na ang pag nagkamiso de chino ka, marami kang pwedeng pasukan na characters. Or marami kang pwedeng pasukan na roles. Sa kamiso de chino, pwede ako maging driver, pwede ako maging farmer, pwede maging mahirap, and minsan, I just tie my hair para magmukha lang ibang look. Another bonus tip for making a VTR, particularly on the yes and wow emotions. Co-actors. Ang secret or ang personal tip ko on making a VTR with yes and wow emotions, make sure that every time you say yes on different emotions, may kita yung change ng mukha mo. Kasi syempre, especially for commercials, mahalaga makita nila yung switch of your face from sad to lonely to angry to scared to confused. Kailangan mabilis and makikita agad yung changes and yung variety ng mukha mo para makita nila na, ah, okay, this can work. Ganon. Well, I, I think I've already shared all my uh, personal thoughts and opinions about making a VTR and even my secrets on uh, creating a VTR, I probably shared it na sa inyo. And everything boils down on how you execute the video. On how you do the transition of your faces and how you create this VTR. Let me just make it clear, this is not the gold standard. Hindi to yung standard na kailangan gawin ng mga tao in making a VTR of every talent. No. I'm just sharing my tips, my personal opinions on creating one and baka makatulong sa inyo lalo na sa mga bago. And if you have any questions or suggestions or additional comments or of making a VTR, always comment down below. And if you know someone, you can share this video para matulungan sila on creating their own VTR. So again guys, if you like this content, please subscribe and click the notification bell para updated lagi sa mga bagong videos natin. And you might also want to check my other vlogs tungkol pa rin sa mga tips on being a freelance actor. Thank you again for supporting my vlog. And this is again the Filipino freelance actor, Joel G. Thank you for watching. Bye!